Welcome back friends to the homestead. So I'm very excited to share with you today uh, our e-bikes, the aerial riders. So you guys have seen them in the background. We've, we've alluded to them a couple times. We've had a good three weeks or so to kind of really spend some time on them. And it's changed, it's really changed the way that we spend our, our weekends. Let me show you the details and kind of the specs. Then we'll go into why uh, these particular ones uh, are such a good fit for us. And how cool is that, huh? When I first saw these, you know what it reminded me of was the, like when I was a boy, uh, a lot, some of the neighbors had those old mini bikes. Remember the old mini bikes? They had no suspension on them and they had like a, a little Briggs and Stratton motor right in the center. What's so crazy, you know, about the technology now is no more motor. You know, the motor is actually in the wheels. So this is the aerial rider. It's kind of a scrambler style. It's very similar to the, what is it, the Super 70, whatever it is, uh, although a lot of big differences is with this. So starting with the front, these have the huge 20 inch high volume Kenda tires on there. And what that gives you is uh, you can change your pressures. You know, you can run anywhere from, you know, 10 to 30 pounds of pressure, maybe even down a little bit if you're in sand and just get crazy traction. And it's the fact that they don't have any suspension is not really a big deal because there's so much volume in the tires that it really takes it up. So it's really a comfortable ride, especially being an aluminum frame because aluminum frame bikes typically are kind of stiff. Um, if you've ever rid, ridden steel over aluminum, so those tires are really nice. The thing that's one of the, mo the funnest things about these is that they're two wheel drive. Yeah, I know it's crazy. There's a motor in the front and there's a motor in the back and there's a switch up here you can switch between. So you can do rear wheel drive or only front wheel drive or only or, or in the middle, which is both. Now that's a huge advantage. What I've been finding in like sand and soft gravel to have two wheels pulling, I mean, it's just unreal uh, the, the amount of traction that you can get. So these are produced overseas by, uh, my contact with Ariel is Arda, and Arda and his brother started this company up in Seattle, and he's an electrical engineer, among other things, he's a really smart guy, um, and we spent half a day with him, you know, going over everything and talking about it. They've specced these bikes out, and him and his brother personally oversee everything over there. So every bike that's being made that they've specced it out, and they personally verify before it gets in the box, they're actually over there where they're assembling them. And what's kind of different about these over like maybe the supers or some of the other ones is that they we've got good components in them um, and that was kind of a concern of mine too so the motors rather than just being a no-name Chinese brand these are a, a Japanese made motor a high-end motor your componentry on them is going to be really nice you've got well go pedals Shimano derailers and sprockets and such and Sanyo batteries so you've got some nice decent stuff So this is the battery pack right here, pretty compact. Uh, this is all Sanyo, so good Japanese made batteries, all lithium, 48 volt, 15 amp hours, and it just slides in the back. You can see the terminals right there. So to charge it, there's just a plug, you know, kind of like a computer plug, and then there's a switch here. And I don't put, carry these, you know, the batteries are, are kind of expensive. Um, you don't want to leave them out, and I don't need the extra weight on the rack, right? Because the bike is light without this. You simply just push these in. And there's a key lock right here uh, that locks it in. That way it won't, it won't come out and no one will, will steal it if you, you know, go in for ice cream or something. So I just lock it in, take the key out and put it in my pocket. The brakes of course are mineral hydraulic and that's really important, especially this, is, is, this one here is mine uh, because I carry the sweet loaf on her burly trailer. And sometimes, you know, with all the extra weight, Mrs. W's got her purse and things in the back of the trailer, plus just me and her coming down steep stuff right now in town, I really appreciate. The brakes are super, super good on this. The kickstand's good, it works off the rear, and it's pretty well designed. Like some like motorcycle kickstands that I've used before, you know, they don't quite get them right. Um, and you get on something that's the wrong way and it wants to tip over. Uh, the kickstand is just ideal. Um, what else is there? Tektro, the brakes are Tektro as well. They're, they're all that stuff. All the componentry on it is name brand and the frame welding and the aluminum and all the stuff is really done nice. It's so fun. The controls are very bike-like. Of course, the main difference is gonna be, you know, you've got your LED screen on here and then your control switch, but you've got, you know, your hydraulic front and rear brakes. Uh, you're gonna have your bell. 
uh, you're going to have your, this is going to be your rear derailleur. Uh, so that's pretty standard right there. Uh, you've got this switch right here. This, this is the three position rocker switch that controls front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive. I just leave it on all wheel drive. I like that best. And then you have a, th a throttle override here on the left, just like you'd have on a motorcycle. So to turn it on, uh, you just press and hold this and then your computer screen will boot up. It's, it's gonna be hard to focus here. It's a little bit of glare, uh, but you've just got basically a basic display. You're gonna have your miles per hour, how many watts you're using, your trip com computer, and you can go in and customize it. You can even set a password. So if you don't want the children's getting on it or, or different things, or you can set speed limits and such. So you can customize it however you want. Now, do you see this number one right here? It works, the way the motor works is two ways. So first is the pedal assist. So as you start pedaling it like a normal bike, you'll get a small bit of assistance with the number one setting. And you can actually even turn it off. If you turn that off, it's, it's, you won't get any assist and you can just pedal it like a normal bike. And you can always override that with a throttle. So you have one um, all the way up to five. And five is gonna give you the most assistance. What I typically find is that when we're riding around on flat, I just like one. Um, I like the, the fact that I can pedal. Most people don't realize it's an e-bike. And so you can just take it anywhere. You can go on your bike paths with normal bikes and it just opens up so much stuff. Um, if I'm going up a hill or if it's really steep, I, I might go up into two or three, or I can just override it all together with a throttle and just um, pour it on and just cruise up any hill. doesn't matter how steep. So the only other thing is that the brakes override it. So if you do um, get, you know, if you have a panic situation or something, if you're not used to it, because you have to be careful with this lithium. It's like a caged lion. <laughs> so you got to respect it. Make sure you understand what's going on. But the brakes will override it. So if you happen to leave the throttle on, uh, if you touch the brake, it will automatically um, disconnect the electric motor. So that's, that's a nice feature. Oh, two wheel drive. <laughs> the thing I've noticed with these bikes and the same for everyone is whenever I get on one, you just automatically start smiling. It's so shocking. We're getting to the point now where our friends are calling us and saying, hey, are you guys gonna take the e-bikes down to town? You know, we wanna come and ride with you, you know, cause we have three of them. And so what we end up doing is uh, sharing them and, and just everyone rides around. We just have such a good time. It is so fun. And everyone that gets on them, when they come back, they just got a huge smile on their face and they are all, in, they're all interested. But let me ride around a little bit here. Uh, but that's pretty steep right there, just to give you an idea. I mean, it's, it's not a crazy off-road machine by any means but it uh with the two-wheel drive it's incredible where it will go i mean it'll just climb up anything and it's pretty fast i've had this one up to probably about 27 28 miles per hour which is faster than i really want to go on a on like a scrambler type of bike usually we just like to kind of cruise and roll and you know go get ice cream and stuff but uh, they're super super fun let's um let's take it out on the road and uh we'll see if we can get some good speed going
that's just kind of a brief overview. If you wanted to get all the stats and everything, you can go over to Aerial Rider to artist site. Uh, common questions that come up are, what's the range? I don't really know. What we typically do, it, it seems to last all day. The battery seems to last all day for us. But what we've been doing is we'll just go into town and we'll take the adventure van and then we'll just set up by, down by the river, whether we're kiting or whatever. Uh, Jack will invite his friends down and the boys are riding them around town and they'll go up and get ice cream. And then Mrs. W and I will put the sweet loaf in her trailer and then we'll go tool around. What's, what's so nice is that when if you go to areas that are really crowded or you know you don't have the you're older or you've got an injury you don't have the ability to, to walk long distances i mean it's just ideal and especially with the sweet loaf and we were getting to the point where she's so such a bad traveler and she's so busy it's hard to find things to do her with because we couldn't really eat out because she's running around all the time but she loves to go in the trailer right so we put the trailer on there and she's happy as a bug in a rug and mrs debbie and i get to roll around so we'll drive we'll, we'll cruise around on the boardwalk and then we'll go to the park and let her go on the slide and then we'll go up and we don't have to worry about parking spaces anymore in town uh, so we'll just park the van you know down by the river and grab on the bikes and then ride them up to dinner uh, it's just super super fun if you haven't been on one go rent one or, or try one because they they are super super fun um, and it's just it's kind of just changed the way that we look at things we're even kind of now when we're deciding hey where do you want to go this weekend or what do you want to you know you want to go on like a little mini trip we're kind of starting to plan it around the bike so we could take advantage of it because having the ability unlike a motorcycle where it's so regulated and you have to have a um, license plate and insurance and all that this will go anywhere that a bike will go and people don't really seem to care or notice and you can just be pedaling along and or you can use the motor or the assist you know it's just cool they're just super super cool easy to carry lightweight on the bike rack you know just completely different than a motorcycle um what else was i going to tell you about it i'll do we're going to do another video we'll we'll go down to the waterfront one and i'll show you how we put the trailer on it but i guess who's this for if you are i mean if you just can't get around um i you know for one type of person like you know like my dad's a perfect example this is they this is how i found out about these they bought these two my dad did a ton of research and found out that this was the best one uh for him for his apple him and my mom and they bought them and then he called me and said uh or sent me an email and says why don't you contact arda about those bikes you know they're you should try them they're really nice so i contacted him and what our here's what our deal is is that we he made us basically ambassadors to the pro to their company to aerial rider um, in exchange for us getting the bikes i make made this video um, to share so he can get some exposure and then we got the bikes for free so uh, just so you know how that all worked out but my dad paid full price for his and bought his and that's how i found out about him and um and then i contacted arda and then he brought the bikes down here well, i guess it's been three weeks ago or so and helped me put them all together and all that they have full fenders and reflectors and all that stuff and chain guards but i took <laughs> such a I'm, i took them all off because it looks cooler without them sorry arda <laughs> But uh, if you want to ride in the rain, of course, it has all that stuff. Um, I would never ride them in the rain because I just don't want to ride in the rain, right? But uh, it's really super fun. It's been really good for my dad. You know, my dad is, he inj injured his back working in construction and he, he can't walk around too good anymore. And it just opened up everything for them. You know, now he can participate. Now he can, you know, go and him and my mom ride around and, and have a good time. But not to say that they're just for, for older people. I mean, Mrs. W and I, we just have a ball. It's, they get so much attention when you're out in the town. It's getting to the point now where we're, we're having to, we can't like roll up to the place we're gonna go in uh, and park right there on the sidewalk because too many people come up and they wanna know about them. They're like, you know, what is this? And oh, it's got two motors. You know, that seems to be the big thing. And they, you know, they're just walking around it and asking all these questions. We've gotten to the point where like, locking them up like a block away and then walking up to the restaurant so we can we can have some peace but i mean it's like when you take these in like a, a area where there's a lot of people and families around and stuff it's like um it's like being a rock star you just get so much attention because people are so interested in them and i think also you know having the little trailer on the back with the sweet loaf um you know that's that's appealing to a lot of people because you can just go 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 i mean can you i can't wait to take these on the beach how fun will these be in the beach you know air the tires down and a cruise along the beach with those big tires and the two-wheel drive, it's gonna be so fun. 
we'll have to take you on that. But uh, we'll do more videos. If you're interested in seeing the trailer setup, let me know. Um, the Burley tra trailer setup is just perfect. It is so good. Even if you don't have a child, just for packing groceries around or different things, it's just ideal. And in closing, you know, as far as electric bikes go, um, I, re I think it's the future. You know, the, one of the guys that I rode, I ride with dirt, my dirt bike buddies uh, who kind of got me into this uh, was saying he bought a brand new bike last year when I did. So we both have Husqvarna 300s. And he said, um, you know, like a year after having that bike, he's like, I think this is probably the last uh, gas powered motorcycle that I'm going to have. I think by the time I'm ready for a new one in five or six years, um, I'll be, it'll, we're going to be on electric. Um, and that remains to be seen, but there may be. It's so much more enjoyable. It has the power of an electric motor, of a motorcycle, but you don't have the gas and the oil and the noise and all of that. Um, they're fun. They're powerful. I mean, my dad's six foot six and 220, and they live in steep country with lots of hills, and they, he has no problem. That's what's nice about the two-wheel drive. All right, sick mailman's here. We'll see you guys in the next video.